And Al says, we're going to start a charter school. I said, yeah. Talked about doing this. And I said, well, what, what, what do you want? How many do you think you need? What kind of school? Telling them yeah. this is uh, the plan that we have. We want to open a school. This is how the CSP started. But it wasn't easy. With everyone's hard work, dedication, we really made a difference, I believe. We had to build a gym. It was uh, very hard. 2004, 2005, I got a little card in the mailbox. Doing the lottery, right? And they literally drew a piece of paper name out of a glass fish bowl. Got the acceptance in May, and I literally hung up the phone with June and just cried happy tears. Well, when they first apply for their child to go here, I mean, we get phone calls, you know, begging and pleading, please, please take my child. We started off with this big welcome ceremony. Okay, let's let's do this, and um, and and we did. Charter school business is a is not a normal business, so you need crazy people to run that business and we had enough crazy people to make difference in Maryland's public education. Normally the CLF was based on the schools at that time, but now CLF act as an entity. So I came on board and everything was sparkly new. We had all of these you know, great things that were in the classroom. It was nice. Immediately upon my arrival, I saw a very different perspective. I was very excited to join a STEM-focused school that I wish I was a teacher and started here at one of CLF schools. This is my 17th year in education, and what I can honestly say is the Chesapeake Lighthouse Foundation has been an excellent charter operator of our school. And so it's nice to be a part of that community. This is really a school system you can bring like crazy ideas, and nobody will say like it is crazy. And then when the new charter school opened in Upper Marlboro, I went there to work as an assistant principal. And now I'm currently the program coordinator slash STEM coordinator. Um, getting the opportunity to come here and teach was, it was amazing. How to teach, how to management, how to contact the parents. Um, it's been, hey, if you need us, we're here. You have the, the staff on site, the qualified personnel to run your school. I just really, really like being here. This has been, I mean, I, like I said, I started here as a first year teacher and I've never wanted to go anywhere else to make sure that we provide a safe and a very positive environment for our students and our staff members. I like working in uh, CLF schools because I had the flexibility. And I was fully committed. I was here pretty much every day. We could start a great program at CSP. Why don't we kind of transfer this program to our sister school, which is at Prince George's County? I'm a graduate of Chesapeake Science Point, class of 2015, and I currently am a teacher at Chesapeake Math and IT Academy North High School. Teachers here are very dedicated. I'm a Chesapeake Science Point graduate, uh, 2017. A lot of opportunity for things besides just the core subjects. But I used to attend um, the first high school here. I was originally a student at CSP um, when we first opened in 2005. Anything the schools need to make sure they are selling STEM to our parents and our stakeholders, we do. You know, students who attend any CLF school will have a variety of different ways uh, in which to explore STEM fields. At the money that is allotted for students go to students, specifically for STEM. Those uh, out-of-box thinkings, those crazy ideas, created our CLF programs, actually. That initial program was at one school or two with minimum number of students. But right now, we have more than uh, 500 students. We have families who've come through here, so it's not just one or two students. We have students who, siblings, that they five or six of them have come through at one point or another. The parents, the teachers, and the community just working together. It's a family. The function of the board of directors is to carry out the vision and the mission of the Chesapeake Lighthouse Foundation. In sticking to these policies that we have, um, CLF is gonna be here to stay for a very long period of time. And increase the quality. And when we talk about the quality, we have to go and think back of our mission, our mission and our focus. 
is mostly about STEM education. And our schools are doing a great job about it. We have great principals, we have great assistant principals, we have great teachers at our schools. We have great people at CLF. Our parents are very involved. A charter school's success many times depends on the involvement of the parents. And without them, we couldn't do it. The first people that built those charter schools have, have may, may have gone through a lot of challenges, but because of them, we are where we are today. I'm happy to be celebrating the 20th year of CLF. Music